morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Waking up this morning with more rain coming down. It's going to be a soggy start to the day. Temperature right now still holding in the upper 40s. One thing to note, too, we do have a little bit of a northeast breeze at about 13. That wind will increase a little bit as we get to the afternoon hours. Gust today to about 20 to uh, around 25 miles per hour. Wet start for us mainly south of Interstate 80. Again, some steady rainfall down towards uh, Crested Lamoni, even Osceola to Knoxville, getting some of the heavier rainfall right now. Winter set under the uh, rain right now, even out towards Montezuma and Sigourney getting some light rain. Again, this is spreading uh, to the north slowly. So Perry, you're now starting to see that rainfall. Panora getting wet there, even Adele and Newton. Uh, so again, pre precipitation chances are going to be generally the highest through the morning and early afternoon hours. So this is going to be really the wettest part of the day, especially along Interstate 80 point south. Now, as we get into the afternoon, showers will start to move east and taper off a little bit. But once we get past this four o'clock mark, uh, models are indicating that we still have a chance for maybe a view a few pop up thunder showers developing generally west of Interstate 35 today. They will be fairly isolated, so not everyone will see this. But if you are under that, you could get some uh, a few downpours out of those thunder showers. So again, there's the models tracking all the rainfall toward the east. Again, steady rainfall moving into parts of Iowa City and the Quad Cities most likely through the afternoon. Now here comes our break in the precipitation through the early afternoon, but here's 630. Like I mentioned, models are still trying to indicate that we could have a few pop up thunder showers or showers developing during that time frame. So again, it's probably just a safe bet too. If you're going to be out and about all day today, have the umbrella handy just this afternoon to the early evening hours in case you're under one of these thunder showers potentially. Overall trends for tonight will dry out, become partly cloudy. Tomorrow morning actually is going to be quite chilly. We're generally going to be in the lower 30s up north, and you're freezing there for you in Fort Dodge, Algonia, even Mason City, mid to upper 30s here for central and southern Iowa. But we will see. A pretty good amount of sunshine for tomorrow, with the exception of maybe a few passing clouds. The breeze will pick up from the north and west tomorrow, so even though we'll be in the 50s, it'll feel a little bit cooler with that northwest wind gusting close to about 20 to 30 miles per hour. The sunshine will continue through the weekend. Saturday and Sunday looking to be into the 70s. We will see a cold front that arrives Sunday night to Monday that's going to bring the chance for a few thunderstorms overnight on Sunday. Then we have cooler weather arriving on Tuesday and Wednesday, but right now it's looking dry. Right?